I am Patrick Flores, a curator of the UP Vargas Museum, a University of the Philippines in Diliman. I also am professor of art history at the Department of Art Studies. The Vargas Museum is linked to the Department of Art Studies uh, of, of the UP. So to some extent, it is also a, a teaching museum. It's a way for uh, young uh, students of art history to, uh, to look at art um, in the flesh and also to, to see how, how history works, uh, how it's written, and then also how it is displayed. The uh, collection is from Jorge B. Vargas. He was the executive secretary of Manuel Quezon. He served two successive colonial governments, the uh, American government and then the uh, Japanese government. Uh, Vargas was able to uh, cover that period quite well. So Vargas uh, had an eye for maybe the idyllic or the pastoral, the, the Marsolo tradition. And the Vargas also has the most number of uh, pieces from Fernando Amorsolo. In terms of uh, pieces that strike me in the main collection, Christmas Eve by Emilio Santiago is very interesting because it is not a very well-known painting. And Emilio Santiago is not a revered uh, painter in the pantheon of art history. But the painting is a picture of uh, different colonial periods coming together. Uh, it is uh, Christmas Eve. Uh, during the Japanese period. The dream is American, the context is Catholic, Spanish, and the period is Japanese. It also evokes the spirit of Vargas as someone who was there inhabiting the climate of these periods. When I came in, the, this glass skin of the building was all boarded up. No? So uh, I took the, <laughs> all these uh, panels down to reveal the borrowed landscape. That feeling of belonging to uh, an active world, even while one is inside. No? That if it rains, then you see the rain. If the sun is out, you see the sun. It's not a white cube, but a cocoon that you don't know what time is it outside. Well, as a curator, uh, the experience that I'd like to instill in any viewer is experience of joy. No? I, it should not be a joyless enterprise uh, overtaken by um, analysis or uh, maybe an aspiration to, to comprehend everything all at once. I think there should first be a feeling of lightness and joy that the viewer is in the midst of art, uh, in the midst of history. So I also do not expect uh, the viewer to be an art historian after 20 minutes, no? Art is a highly mediated <laughs> uh, expression. Say the artwork is actually a, a dense material of uh, so many decisions. Uh, the decision of the artist, the art world, the public, of the patron sometimes, and the institutions uh, governing the, the milieu. The University Museum insists on certain levels of difficulty, which I think uh, art requires. Uh, because art is never easy, uh, 
Um, but sometimes the art world uh, makes it appear to be so. No? So that's why uh, uh, the University Museum is a foil to that ethos of easy consumption. So, uh, but this is not to say that we are snobbish or we are intractable. It's just that we uh, insist on certain values too. And difficulty is a value yeah, because it uh, instills patience, it instills diligence, it instills uh, also acceptance of uh, what one doesn't know. And uh, of course, inspiration to know more. Thank you.